Hi there, this is Sean Hansen with a PowerPoint design tip that I thought I would share. A lot of people create word art, myself included, and my preferred method of doing so is using Photoshop. But as with a lot of my training and my tips, uh, there are so many people who are kind of afraid of Photoshop and prefer to do everything they can in PowerPoint. So I wanted to show you how to create word art fast and easy just in PowerPoint. What I've done in advance of this is I have opened up a new file, I added a blank slide, I deleted the first slide that was there uh, with the pre-formatted content, I then resized things to 14 by 14, and I added in the guidelines that you see. So, I'm going to duplicate this slide, which is where we're going to work, and I'll actually just delete all of this and get us out of a numbered text box and I'm going to type in word art, put this on two lines, center it, and then grab something that's substantial. You want something that's chunky to use to fill in and then I'm going to bump up the size. Before I do that I want to give lots of space for this text to grow. Can I'm going to bump this up to about 300 points and then move it to the center based on my guidelines. Now the next thing I want to do is select this text and I want to go to shape format and I want to fill it with a light gray and outline it with black and I want to make sure when I outline that this has kind of a substantial weight to it so I'm going to select four and a half points. Now the reason you don't want to leave this interior white is we're going to do some PowerPoint transparency in just a minute and if I leave the interior white it will create a background that's transparent as well and it won't work. I'll actually do this on two slides so I can show you the difference. This time I'll make the fill white. Now that I've got that, I want to export both of those slides. So I'm going to go up to File and Export. Now I'm working on a Mac, so on a PC you would do this as a Save As and select a high resolution, 300 pixels per inch or higher, and save it as a PNG. For us Mac users, we go to Export. And actually to make this easier, let's go ahead and get rid of this first slide. Let me go back to Export. And I'm going to select PNG, and I'm going to put this on my desktop. I want to select every slide and then at 14 by 14 to get the highest resolution as I export I'm going to bump the height up to 299 and then click export and what this will do is put those two slides into a folder as PNG images and this is telling me that's been done. Now that I've done that I'm just going to go in and duplicate this slide that we were working with and get rid of the text box and I'm going to insert a picture from a file and here's that first slide with the gray word art then I'll duplicate this slide right click and change picture from a file to put in the white That's that second slide. Now if I move this aside on the gray background you can see this is just a solid block here well that's not going to work for our purposes. I'm going to show you on the gray version how I do this. So I've selected this image. I'm going to go up to color. So I'm in picture format color and set transparent. And now I'm just going to use this arrow and select that gray. What that has done is taken what was a solid background. I'm going to undo that and slide this over. You can see there's no white space when I slide this over on the gray background. However, when I go up to picture format color, set transparent color and choose the gray, I now have transparency. So I'm going to put that in place for a second and then jump over to the white word art and show you why we have to make sure that interior is a color that isn't the same background, in this case white, as the outside. Uh, back to picture format and to color, set transparent. Now if I click, what I've done is I've created an entirely transparent area. That might not seem like a problem right now. I'm going to go ahead and to avoid confusion get rid of these two slides that were just the text boxes so I'm selecting them and hitting delete. This first one is was gray and the second one is our white. 
So to finish up the word art, I'm actually going to insert another picture. And this is a colorable background image that I have. And it's put it on top here. So if I go into the selection pane, I can see this called picture five. I'm going to call this background. And then picture three, I'm going to call word art. And I'm just going to slide the background behind that. And there's my word art. Now, if I try and do the same thing with that other example where we started with a white background and white words, and I come up here and I insert that same picture, and I'll call this background again, and I'll call this word art, and slide it behind. And you'll see that word art gets lost. If I turn off the background, you'll see it's there, but it gets lost. So the reason that you want to create the inside of the letters in a different color than the background of the slide, which is generally going to be white, is so that when you create that transparency, you don't lose everything. So there's a fast, easy way to create really fun word art using PowerPoint if you prefer that over Photoshop or Illustrator or any other graphics program. My name is Sean Hansen. I hope you've enjoyed this video.